Hey guys, welcome back to Sudoku Maniacs. Hope you all had a wonderful weekend. So now that we are done with creating the videos for that upcoming competition, I thought it's time to get back to some of our videos on the Sudoku solving techniques, especially focus on the classic Sudokus. So while I was thinking of what to select, I came across, or rather I remembered this beautiful, beautiful technique, which is very hard to identify, to be very honest. But if you are able to do that, you can eliminate multiple digits simultaneously across a row or a box. And this technique is known as a Sudikov. Now, I hope I just pronounced it right. <laughs> so basically what this means is, it's basically a set of n digits that can form a cross a row and a set of few digits that form within a box. And we keep our focus at the intersection of the box. So I've, I've just filled up this example with hypothetical letters instead of numbers. So now let's first look at the cells, uh, the row. So basically I'm going to focus on row 6 and the box 5. Now in row 6, I have this pair of AB that can either A or B can be placed here, right? And in box 5, I have this pair of ED and EC. Now what would be the junction point of this row and a box. Remember, this technique works in the junction of a box and a row. So let's just highlight it in a different color. The H is already assumed to be a digit that has been placed. Correct? Now, how do we use this technique here? Now what it means is, since one of the digit A and B will be in row 1, column 6, right? What it means is, the other will have to be in one of these two cells which is marked in gray. The reason being, if say we eliminated both A and B from here, then this the top cell would be CD and this would be DE. We would have a pair of ED, correct? Which would eliminate the E from here and we'll have a C here and hence we will not have anything. Similarly, from the box, since only one of A and D will be placed here, the other digit will have to be one of C, D or E. Correct? How does that help us? What it means is, so we have an E, D, C, E and one of C, D, E in these two, which will form a triplet. So from all these cells, we can eliminate C, D and E within the box since the E, D and the C, E numbers are within the box and since A, B one digit will be in row 1, column 6 and the other will be locked in box 5 from these two cells let's uh, use a different color here okay let's use a dark gray from here or maybe yeah this better sorry so from the row, we eliminate A and B and within the box, we eliminate C, D and E. As I said, at one strike, we can eliminate multiple digits across a row and a column. And as I said, again, this is a bit difficult to identify. But if you're able to do that, it really, really opens up the puzzle. So, I mean, that was just a theoretical bit. I know it's confusing at times, so let's go ahead and solve a puzzle. And obviously the link to that puzzle will obviously be there in the description of the video. So you can give it a shot on your own as well. Alright, so let's start. And any tough Sudoku, we started like using the normals. 1 cannot be here, so that's my 1. 4, four and 7, sorry. Oops. Why am I typing it? Okay, 176, 6 will be here. That's a 7, so that's a 1. Good. 1, 2, 3, 4, so that's my 5, 9. 
has to be in these two okay h9 8 9 okay so this will be a pair of 8 9 which leaves me with 5 and 6 6 and a 5 because we got a 5 here and here what do we require 1 3 and 4 so we got 1 and 4 in this one so this is 2 3 okay any more progress 3 3 oh yes this has to be a 3 one eight four, so that's my one eight four eight one four. And what is missing in this row? Two five oh five five. Yes, sir, that's a five. So this is again an eight nine two eight two nine. And we got a pair of eight nine, so that's a one six and a one six. All righty. Okay, let's see. This would be. I can't have a one, two, three, four, five, six. So this is a seven, nine, seven, nine, and a one. And this would be one, six, nine, one, six, nine. Okay. Here, what are we missing out here? We have two four seven eight. So this is a two four seven. Two and seven. That's four eight. Four seven eight. Hmm. What can be missing here? Is the what's missing in the row? Two four six seven. Seven is not there. So that's a two four six. Two six. Four seven because we got a two and six here. Okay, and this would be one two four one two three four two three four. I think it's time to fill up all the pencil marks. And what can I have here? Two three. 8, 9, because 1 and 6 are locked here, right? So why it can be a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, no. 6 also not possible, 7 is not possible, 8, 9, right? This will be 1, I can have a 2, I can have a, not a 3, sorry, 4, 5, I can have a, not a 6, 7, 8, and this is a 2, 9. Here, 1, 2, is possible four five six is not possible seven eight nine now when I look closely okay this is a quad two three eight nine right so we can eliminate the twos and the nine from here so that yes this forms a triplet perfect what can I have here one two three four five is possible six is possible nine is possible but now because of this two getting locked here, I think we can eliminate the twos from there. Right? So again, no, I can't have a one, two, three, four, five is possible, six is possible, seven is a no, eight and nine. Okay. What can I have here? One, I can have a three, I can have a four, I can have a five, six, seven, eight and nine. Wow. One, two, three, four is not possible. Five is possible. Six, seven, and nine. Because six and eight are not possible. Now, this would be one, two, three, four, five, no. Sorry. Six, seven, no, eight, no, and a nine. Here I would have one, two, three, four, five, no, six, yes, seven, yes. And a nine, yes. And finally, last cell. Not that it's gonna help. But one, two, three, four, six, seven, and a nine. Okay. Now we have filled in all the pencil marks. Let's see how the technique that we saw. So I'm going to use the same color combinations again. I see that I have a four seven here, correct? So this column would be my 
linear line per se. And when I look at this 8, 9 with a 2, 8, 9 here, I have a pair of 2, 8 and 2, 9. Correct? Now, using this, let's use the green for the junction of the column 8 with box 9. Now, what it means is, since I require at least 1 of 4, 7 in row 1, column 8. Correct? So, both of these cannot be 4 and a 7. At the most, it can be 1. Now, you can say that it neither can come here, neither 4 nor 7, and this could be a 9 and 8. But if this were a 9, alright, if this were a 9 and this were an 8, this would become a 2 and this would become again a 2, which would just not be possible. So we know for sure that in these green cells, so let's highlight the blue cells where the eliminations will be taking place. So if 1 of 4, 7 is going to be logged in row 8 and 9, column 8, the rest of the row cannot have the 4 or 7 occurring anywhere apart from these two green cells and the gray cell there. Similarly, if 1 of 8 and 9 is logged in the gray, green cell and with these two pairs of 2, 8 and 2, 9, they'll form a triplet. So 8 and 9 cannot occur in this blue cell also. Clear? So let's just decolor it and get it back. So I can eliminate, sorry, eliminate the 9 from here. From here, I can eliminate the 7. Now, you have to be careful. Since we are using, in the column, I have the pair of 4 and 7. So from the column, I can only eliminate 4 and 7, not the 8s and 9. And within the box, I cannot eliminate the 4 or 7, just the 8 and 9, because the triplet is being formed with 2, 8 and 9. And now that we have eliminated this 4, we get a 3. Good, we made some progress, but looking at it directly, obviously it's not going to, oh, sorry, I ran, yeah. We got a three, five, nine, five, nine. That's a pair, so this becomes a two. That's gone, so that's my two. Again, this nine would go. Has that helped? Eliminate the two from there, three, eight, nine, three, eight, nine. Okay, not too big a help, but, where do we go from here? Oh yes. Oh, I hope you guys remember your X, Y wing. Yes, sir. So this is the pivot, two and a four. And these are the end points, correct? And the body cell is here where if this is a 2, this would become a 1. But if this were a 4, this green cell would be a 1. Irrespective of which digit comes in row 2, column 9, the 1 is logged in the cells marked green, right? And since both of these cells can see row 9, column 2, we can eliminate the 1 from here. Hence, this has to be a 8. So, good. We got, oops, sorry. So we can eliminate the one and this was a nice revision of the XY wing as well. And now that has gone. That's my four, that's a one, so that's a seven, that's a nine, and a two, and eight. Oh, we have wrapped up the box. So this will be a nine, this will be an eight. This will again be a nine. So I can eliminate the nines from here. So this is a three, eight. I can eliminate that. So this was a one six okay with this nine gone yes sir this is a five and a nine with this five so that's my nine and a five let's eliminate this five nine also is gone from here not here so this will be my nine right oh we got a two so this would be a four seven and a 2 and we got a 3 here so this will be an 8 that's a 4 7 6 4 6 7 so I get a 3 
eight, three. Oh, we have a seven here. My bad. Seven, seven, six, six, one, four, one. Oh, we got a one. Oh, we got a two here, right? So that's a six and a four, one and a two. That's a six, and that's finally the one. Okay. Have we made a mistake somewhere? Four, six, five. Let's just quickly go. Yes, sir. This was my mistake. It should have been a nine. I'm sorry about that. In the hurry to type in the digits, I made a mistake. But now the system says it's correct. <laughs> I know it was a bit complicated. It requires a lot of lot of practice to actually identify because it's very confusing. But believe me, once you're able to identify this technique, it's really brilliant in the way it eliminates multiple digits from multiple cells. As I said, the link to solve this Sudoku online is there in the description. Do give it a shot. Try to use it to find out and keep an eye out open in the other classic Sudokus that you do, especially the tough ones to see if you can identify them. Well, if you did enjoy the video, do like and share it with your friends. Let us know your feedback in the comment section. Do you want us to continue on these, as you might call them, atrociously difficult to identify techniques or give it a pause? We love to hear your thoughts. So till the next time, happy solving.